I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. With one rod cut to size, I know I can cut the next one to size too, because I know what the next size should be. One end of this rod gets threaded to quarter twenty. And the other end gets threaded to quarter twenty-eight. And I have two different brands of dye. The last set, I used the Harbor Freight dies, and those worked, but not very well. This time, I'm going to use this set of handy dies. These came in a package of uh, threading dies that I got from Louie. So we're going to see just how well these work. I think these are American made, I'm not sure. I need to turn that die around. Yep. It says a set of guide jaws on it to help keep it in line. Rag down underneath it to catch the drips. I was cutting a lot easier. I don't have to spend so much time cranking on the vise to try and make it stay gripped in the jaws. Let's take a look at the threads.
Well, that's much better. Nut spins right on it and is good and secure. This is the rod that I threaded with a Harbor Freight die. And the nut wobbles. Got quite a bit of motion in there. compared to this one. Hardly any. Now this aluminum tube is kind of loose. It's just a formed thread in there. Compare the action of that to this one. Same thread. It's actually spinning on there. That's because this thread, the tips of the, of the threads are actually torn off. This one is nicely cut. Sharp points on the, t on the threads. And this is an old die. This is an old die. It's it's been in a bag for years and years and years. It does a nice job of cutting. So even though I use the Harbor Freight dies, now that I have these better ones, I think I'm going to retire the Harbor Freight dies to just thread chasers. They're all right for knocking bumps and chunks out of it. But when it comes to cutting a thread, I'm much better off using a good die. Kind of a run what you brung world and you got to get by with what you got but going with the best you can get is always better The reason I went looking, the 
thread on the end of this one. I actually had to compress the aluminum double-ended nut there. Had to go around with a hammer and punch and smack that. I had to go around with a hammer and punch and smack the flats on that to dimple that in and make it compress. I egg shaped it so that it would grab a hold of the threaded rod. This one, I won't have to do that. Now the other end, I need to thread to quarter 28. This is what made me look for another threading die. Trying to thread quarter 28 is tough anyways. Finer threads don't start as easy. Some oil in there. That's a nice looking thread. Everything all wiped down so I can put it away again. Storing it with some oil on the surface is good. I just don't want to have it leaking down in to the box. Wipe off the dies. This side's gonna work. But this side's gonna work much, much better. If you have any suggestions for new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. Don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.